Hi and welcome to this lesson which I'm actually quite excited to teach uh, because the vision is really a remarkable topic and uh, quite difficult for most students but if you understand a few basic things it's really not that hard and I hope I can help you understand. First of all, uh, what does the vision mean? Okay, so it, let, let's just look at a basic example. If I say um, 8 divided by 2, so we've got different signs to show division. The different operators or signs, okay, operators can be a divide sign. It looks like that. We can use a forward slash can also mean divide, so 8 divided by 2, 8 divided by 2, and obviously the one that's most common in algebra when we work with variables, letters and things like that, is the divide line, the fractional line, 8 over 2, okay, that also means 8 divided, all of these things mean a similar thing, but what does it mean? Well, 8 divided by 2 means this. How many times how many times can 2 be subtracted subtracted from 8? To get 0. How many times can 2 be subtracted from 8 to get 0? And uh, we know, okay, if I take 8 and I subtract 2 once, I get 6, minus 2 again, I get 4, minus 2 again, I get 2, minus 2 again. So how many times can it be subtracted? 4 times. So 8 divided by 2 is equal to four. Okay, so divided means how many times can it go into, be subtracted from. Okay, now, how about, let's look at a few just common things. If I say eight divided by one, we know that if we were to ask how many times can one be subtracted from eight to get zero, it can be subtracted eight times. And 1 is, is simple in that any, any number that's divided by 1 would just be that, that number. So this can be one of our laws. x divided by 1. Any number divided by 1 will simply be that number. Okay. So I can divide with 1 and not change anything. Okay. How about 0? What is 8 divided by 0? And here's the question. How many times can 0 be subtracted from 8 and until I get 0? Now, 8 minus 0 is 8. Minus 0 is 8. Minus 0 is 8. Minus, even if I go on for all infinity, I'll never get 0 as my answer because I'm not subtracting anything from 8. Okay, so there is no answer. No answer. Okay, undefined is the correct mathematical term we use. This is undefined. And this is true for any number. So any number, x representing my any number, divided by 0 is undefined. Okay. Uh, and let's look at another generalization. What would happen if I have 8 divided by 8? How many times can 8 be subtracted from itself until I get 0? Well, obviously only once. Okay, 8 minus 8 equals 0. So I only have to subtract it itself once to get 0. And that's also true for any number. x divided by x. How many times must I subtract x? x minus x equals 0. So if I just subtract it once, okay, then I'll get 0. So any number divided by itself is 1. x divided by x is equal to 1. And these three things are going to form the foundation of everything else we're going to do.